So, you want to start Webflow in 2023. In this video, we're going to find out if that's going to be a good solution for you. You're probably currently using maybe WordPress, maybe you're using Squarespace, Wix, like there's EditorX, and there's like tons of tons of tons of new platforms coming in. And you're always like, is this the next big one? Is this the next big one? And you're thinking, okay, like there's Webflow also. Should I just double down everything and start using Webflow? And in this video, I'm going to try to go ahead and explain why I think Webflow is going to be the greatest choice you've ever made as a platform for 2023. That aside, we're going to be a little bit biased. We're one of the top Webflow agencies kind of like in Europe, maybe even the world. And that that's why we can see all the influx of clients actually coming to Webflow, coming to us, like maybe even the clients we need to decline because we're usually working like with uh, funded startups and enterprises uh, like Upwork and many others. And we can see just how much traction there is actually in the market at the moment. And just because of that, I feel like there's going to be that much more career opportunity uh, for Webflow. The first thing I want to go ahead and go over is what is actually Webflow. Um, like many people say, okay, Webflow is a no-code platform, Webflow is this, Webflow is this. I want to get one thing straight. Webflow is a front-end development platform. The moment when you start looking at Webflow as a front-end development platform, the things are going to get that much easier. You can like have that much more actually resources to learn Webflow, and you're going to be able to scale Webflow in the new heights on what's actually possible with Webflow. I think like Webflow is going to be the greatest thing for you. Maybe you're even new in IT, like you haven't used WordPress. You're going to be, that's going to be the great base to actually learn front-end as a whole. Then when you learn that through a visual editor in Webflow, like all the front-end tools, you're going to be adding JS. Then you're going to be adding maybe some back-end knowledge. And with all of those things combined, you're going to become a great, you know, like Webflow developer, but even that a great developer, like in, as a whole. And that's going to allow you to like, even if there is a new platform, let's say in five to 10 years, you're going to know all of the principles of um, web development in general versus like all of the other platforms that have their own editors and you're just tied to them. And like, even if needed, like if Webflow doesn't turn out to be so great, like I'm telling it is, you're going to have that much more knowledge to transition into a different career, into um, maybe a, like a full, like a full stack developer or something like that afterwards. And that's why I think that's going to be the greatest mindset that's going to get you a, a new position, a new role, etc, etc. But it, while, with that aside, I wanted to actually go ahead and take a look at the data, take a look at um, some of the market shares like we have at the moment. So you can see like basically here on the screen uh, that Webflow is currently having around 1% of market share, which is not a lot. But like comparing that to, let's say Webflow goes to 2%, there's going to be maybe twice, but maybe even more than twice more opportunities. If Webflow goes to just 3% of market share, we're going to get so much work that there's going to be a lot of influx that maybe even the agencies that are currently running are not going to be able to take. So I feel like there is huge potential for growth, which we're also going to compare Google Trends uh, chart uh, also afterwards. You don't have to figure out, okay, is Webflow going to be the next WordPress? Because it doesn't have to be. Like I'm usually looking at which use case is Webflow used for, because soon it's going to be start going to be started to use for member stack memberships and many other things like that but at the moment like businesses using webflow are enterprises are funded startups are startups just starting out that received funding and those are actually businesses you want to work with in your career and if you take a look at where are they transitioning to all of them are going to upload and that's why you don't have to worry about is webflow gonna actually overcome any of the platforms here on the market share you just have to worry about okay who's actually using webflow and what kind of client base can i actually have if i go ahead and start using webflow if we go ahead to the market share and then the google trends you can see on the screen here uh, is you can see that interest over time is skyrocketing so like webflow is at all time high interest like like i'm like on google scores like 100 like and it's all in great countries like i know new zealand us etc etc um, that are gonna be like a great source for your new client or for like the, the new work coming in and that's why i think comparing that to wordpress that you're gonna have that much more ex like more excitement on a day-to-day -day basis on the projects you're working with because you're going to be working maybe for clients in top healthcare industries, in top recruiting industries. Uh, and I mean, kind of like just having interaction with people that are um, maybe on the top of the, the industry chain. And that's, um, and that's allow you to have much more fun while doing your work. The final thing is going ahead and seeing the Webflow updates and what is Webflow doing about its platform kind of the like over like 2022 and like like they have a history from 2013 when they started actually and just check out how many updates is Webflow receiving 
I mean, just this year we've been excited with that much, like with a lot of new features, like memberships in beta, like uh, scaling the CMS, like like many of the fun enterprise stuff um, that, that is happening, uh, workspaces, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just going ahead to the updates folder here on Webflow is gonna like actually say to you, okay, this is a really good platform I should be a part of and it's gonna grow even more in 2023. So if you're currently using Webflow, let me know why do you think that Webflow is gonna be the next big thing uh, in uh, front-end development or like in the web design industry at all. Or if you're not using Webflow, feel free to write down some of the concerns on why do you think Webflow might not be great? We might be missing out on something. And see you in the next video, bye-bye.